They will start on the ground with Raleigh Williams, who is wrapped up after a gain of maybe. Play action on second and seven. Allen. And he's able to get that ball complete. To and then either play action or bootleg. Just a gain of maybe one that time for Cade and a half. Second and nine, Williams on the pitch. Able to get to the outside, and he may break free. Raleigh Williams, welcome back to Dallas-Fort Worth. Allen, over the middle, diving catch is made inside the five. It's going to be first prime position they have. Williams, not much there at all. Ty Summers. Allen to the end zone. Diving effort beyond. The throw to be a little bit errant. Watch McFarland in a stand-up stance go right around the right tackle. Use this quickness, gets into the body of the quarterback, and it's hard to be accurate throwing that. Cody Walker, right at the line of the strip. Play action from his end zone, Allen. And able to get a complete for a first down to the reliable Drew Moore. Walker, off the left side, spinning his way to the 20. Third and six, off the edge, pressure, and swung down by Jones. This time, Caraway from the other side, working on Skipper, gets around to the outside with quickness, and gets the... Well, this possession is a deep throw down the field. Dominic Reed is their speed guy. Williams, nowhere to go. Tahata... Safety, very versatile guys on that defense. Play action. As he's able to get it to Johnson, the fullback, out to midfield. Good. Who's a fullback? This is a freshman, number 32. He's been blocking the whole game. Now he slips out. It kind of fools the linebacker. Uh, Summers, number 42 on that play. Williams on first down. Well blocked and able to keep his... Second for Williams. Look at the push he's getting here from the Hogs up front. It'll be third. So they're heavy on the right side. Third and one, and able to get the first down is Williams. But you're fresh set of downs thanks to his efforts now. Here is Jeremy Sprinkle. Stiff arm, good block, and a good gainer. Neck injury. But he is back to business this season. Wiggling his way inside. Look at the time of possession in that first quarter. Yeah, playing That's the script. Was ball. Williams able to get through that first line of defense for Williams now. And a first down for... This is Jeremy Sprinkle, so keep an eye on that because when they do that, at some point they can throw to him. He's an eligible receiver. So far, they just have used it to run the fumble inside the 10 like TCU did. You'll regret it. First and goal. As they go with Reed here as the receiver. Williams met. Second and third is now their thinking pass TCU's defense. Allen was pressured, and saw controlling the clock, the scoreboard, zero penalties, zero turnovers. Yeah. Play action. Allen over the middle and incomplete. In Gary Patterson's defense. Third and ten. Pressured. 
and it falls to the ground. Oh, working on the right tackle, Colton Jackson, and just beats him with quickness. Beat him to the inside early, beat him to the outside that time. Last night to say hello. Whaley with the carry, of course. Today. Of course, that finished off TCU's undefeated season. As Rose Bowl champs. As Williams continues to get work. It was interesting. And a first down by way of Raleigh Williams. Let's check in with Mom. And the ruling as to what should have been officiated with Central Michigan and Oklahoma State. This is Cornelius as he was cut down by Tejada. Because of all the talent they have that they just have not seemed to uh, hit their stride at this point. Williams again. Flag is down as Williams patiently waited for his hole and took advantage. Finally run down. Right up in here and his man was stunning into the hole and I think if he just lays on him, he's okay. But he reached out and grabbed him and there was the penalty. That was Traven Howard, number 32, who got held. Backer last week moved to safety this week. Right now he's lined up as a linebacker again. Cody Walker, just a game of one. So the penalty on Rollerson Holly brings them back. Three new starters on Florida. Third and 16. And they will simply keep it on the ground. Absolutely. A local kid from just outside of Dallas, the low and back for Arkansas. And he goes forward for a game of maybe. Play action, Allen to the outside, complete to Hatcher. And will be Hall, the extra lineman coming in. He's lined up as an H-back. They're going to pass off of it. And it is batted down that time. That's a good spot for a play action throw down the field here for Arkansas. And here's Allen. And he connects with Drew Morgan. Good looking play for the Razorbacks. Allen downfield. Complete to Hatcher. Flag is down. Allen to pass again. Pressure was coming as he released it. And right wow. into the hands of Jeremy Sprinkle. How about those last two strikes? Quarterback. Watch McFarland come on the rush, and Colton's going to take him out around the quarterback just enough time to make that throw, and Sprinkle gets the foot down. The wingspan to go up and make the catch. And by Austin Allen. One counted, the other one didn't. Williams, good leg drive for plus 11. When they knock themselves off schedule. Williams getting two yards. To the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Drew Morgan. With Drew Morgan. Play action, bootleg, and holds the defense. And watch this throw to the outside shoulder. Drew Morgan even got grabbed by the defender. Oh, and now look at the field position that Arkansas has. As Cody Walker tries to get to the edge. The big primetime college football game of the weekend. That's a nice teammate in Jake Arrieta. <laughs> Cody Walker. Well, they got a good thing going here. TCU baseball too. Jim Schlossnegger. Allen, can he do it? He was met right at that line. To level analytics. That would have been a green light spot right there. Play action. Got him, Allen. Instead, they go to the outside with Morgan. Four is going to release right down the middle of the field and be wide open, but they're not looking at him. Oh. He throws there. It's a touchdown. As it turns out, a short gain on the dump-off throw. DC, you got the best of them then. Now it's Arkansas and Bielema's hogs up here in Fort Worth. Raleigh Williams, little extra effort doesn't hurt. Dad's a da Dallas police officer. He got a lot of family and friends here to see him. Allen downfields, and that was beyond.
Williams. Williams bounced it inside the 10. It'll be first and to go to the right. He starts that way and then just bounces out to the left and breaks one tackle. And TCU's defense had lost leverage on the backside of the play. Wasn't there where it was drawn up. Raleigh Williams with instincts and vision turns it into a big play inside the five now, as he is tonight. That time tackled for a loss on timing and get right in there before anybody can see him. Use his quick. Wrapped up that time by Josh. Here comes Morgan in motion. Being chased down, flag is down as Allen just holding. Number 83 offense. Penalties decline. Direction. I think they were going to roll right and do a throwback. Sprinkle got caught holding on McFarland. Seemed pretty comfortable trailing on that last drive. Here's Williams now, and now look at how active Coach. Allen gets it complete that time to read. Gonna pass on third and two. He got blasted there. That's an incomplete paddle in here. Make something happen and stop this unraveling. Allen nearly intercepted that time by Nick. Threw it the second time. It almost got picked up. Ball hung in the air a little bit. And a nice break on the ball by Orr. Not much there. Incomplete. Nine to play with. Can they get it done? Here's Morgan. Stiff arm stays on his feet. And then spun. Allen. Complete true Morgan. Look at this inside the 30. So now. Allen. Complete inside the 20 to Cornelius. Out of Touchdown, Arkansas! Keon Hatton. Right here is the one-on-one. -on -one. It's just a corner route, and Tejada is just going to get spun around and can't get out of his break to make a play on the football. Reverse! Start on the ground as Williams takes it inside. Take the pitch, and that had nowhere to go. They pick up the pressure. Allen caught touchdown. Jeremy Sprinkle. High where his six foot five tight end could go get it. The cornerback Jeff Gladney had no chance because of where the ball side from a defender. But when you have a big receiver, a guy is also open high. And if you throw the ball up vertically to a tall receiver or tight end, then that's a guy getting open even when there's a man close by in a defender's position. A beautiful throw to a tall receiver that only he could. Three to force another overtime, six to win it. A little jet action this time as Reed gets the corner, still on his feet, fighting his way down. Hogs.
Williams. Franco and Morgan. Takes the pitch. Allen to the five yard line. He goes to camp. Allen on the ground. 